Hi guys, this is Jack. Uh, I decided to make this video thanks to Itsu and uh, because of, of uh, a conversation that uh, we have we had previously about the difficulties that uh, uh, in tuning process uh, in Ruslan's coil system. What you see here is a coil winding method that um, has some uh, unique characteristics compared to Ruslan's coil system and this is uh, uh, and this characteristic is that uh, once you make this uh, coil system it is already tuned you put it in line and uh, you make your experiments I will explain you uh, the idea be be behind this construction by showing you, showing you some drawings that I have made as you see here in uh, case number one in Ruslan's coil system we have uh, two lines the grenade line and the ductor line uh, each line is a different uh, length a different coil form one line, one line has the grenade and the other the inductor characteristics that uh, give for each line a different capacity, different inductance, different uh, resonant frequency and uh, because of the interaction of both of them uh, between them uh, this makes tuning a very difficult job I don't say impossible because uh, I have done it I have done this a couple of times uh, but I wanted to make uh, a procedure for uh, tuning and I find it an, a very difficult job for someone that uh, uh, has an experience around uh, RF tuning and uh, matters like that uh, so I decided to make my own uh, coils and uh, this is uh, case number two uh, what I uh, what you see here it's uh, the perfect condition to have a good uh, balance between uh, the, the system and uh, this is because we have uh, two lines with the same length the same coil form for each line and a common interaction between them capacitive coupling and uh, uh, one line one uh, coil is just exactly the mirror of the other that uh, gives to those lines uh, a special characteristic in terms of a common resonant frequency what we need in a Ruslan system so my system uh, is uh, two coils let's say that uh, uh, the black grenade is uh, the first coil the black is the main uh, grenade uh, line with the output load and uh, the blue one is the inductor line and what you see here is two grenades back to back uh, interacted between each other only at the thin portion of uh, each grenade and uh, let's say some things about that first of all uh, I will use thin sides as a reference as you see uh, they are opposite wounded uh, you just uh, look at the thin portion of his grenade the, the black one is uh, clockwise and the blue one is anti-clockwise opposite wounded uh, the way that uh, you wound uh, you wound this uh, both grenades is uh, exactly the same as the blue aquarium coil which is 48 turns two layers clockwise 24 turns two layers counterclock and uh, 
another two layers with 12 turns again counterclockwise uh, okay as you see the interaction is uh, just only at the thin portion which means that uh, the interacted turns between grenades are 24 turns for each uh, grenade uh, the way that uh, I uh, win them uh, is as uh, a, a multiplexed system and uh, uh, what I mean by multiplexed is that uh, if you see here in the drawing is that uh, we start winding uh, let's say here that we have two grenades back to back they are uh, interacted between each other at the thin portion the first grenade starts from here up to here 48 turns and the second grenade starts from here it go here 48 turns uh, we start winding from let's say the blue and the red coil uh, we start the first layer of the blue which is 48 turns and then we cover the 24 turns with the first layer of layer of 48 turns of the red coil of the red grenade then again we come back to the blue grenade we come back to the start 48 turns and here we are interposed the red layer as you see and then again we come we come back from uh, uh, for another 48 turns the second layer of the red grenade which imposes again uh, the outer layer of the blue and uh, from this moment and after you just continue winding your grenades at, uh, the, at uh, the already known um, way 24 24 12 12 again here 24 24 12 12 uh, I decided to multiplex, as I, as I told you, uh, the first, the, the thin portions of each grenade twice, just for uh, make, making an uh, artificially bigger surface between them. So the interaction, the capacitive interaction between those coil. Uh, to have uh, the maximum effect that's the way it's uh, layer uh, uh, mm, it, it is over the other I'm sorry for my English uh, guys I'm really trying uh, so what uh, I can say about that is uh, just take uh, care in the wind direction they have to be opposite and uh, if everything go well after your uh, construction you will have a, a ready tuned coil system which is ready to play for uh, and help you f with your experiments mm. Okay, some few details more. Uh, I wound them in a five centimeter tube, and uh, by making, uh, uh, by following these instructions, you will end up with about 32.5 meters cable for each grenade, and uh, which leads uh, at, at which final leads at the common. Uh, resonant frequency uh, of 1.2 megahertz you can uh, let it as it is and it will work uh, in my system it wasn't necessary as I found out later but uh, I wanted to be more accurate so I added uh, 5 meters cable more for its grenade 
by making a chalk with two coils, one over the other, five meters each, opposite direction, and uh, connect it in series uh, with uh, the main granite system. And this gives me a final 37.5 meters at uh, one megahertz resonant frequency. But as I told you, it is not necessary, as I found out. Uh, it is not this that uh, will make the difference. Uh, what will make the difference uh, is um, to have a same uh, response for each line. And uh, this only can be achieved uh, by making your coils the one to be the mirror of the other. Of course, there are many ways to accomplish this, and I have already in, uh, in, in, some, uh, in some of my future plans to make uh, several designs uh, which uh, they are uh, lie on this uh, uh, theory that I explained you about. But uh, for now I think uh, this, uh, uh, this double granite back to back uh, is, uh, it is easy to, for everyone to, to make it, as uh, you already have tried uh, in the past uh, by building several granites to achieve your goal. So it will be an easy task for you. And I think that is all. Of course, uh, if you have uh, any problems of, uh, in following these uh, instructions and uh, having these results that uh, I'm uh, uh, talking about uh, you can always uh, mm, you can always uh, don't hesitate uh, and you can always um, inform me through our uh, forum our thread or uh, with a personal message thanks for watching guys and uh, good luck with your experiments bye